the job that you've been taught how to do and do it to the very best of your ability. The Cornwall Division are about to enter the last week of their gruelling 10-week training course. They're nearly there, but there's a bit of a myth in that it's a coast all the way through to the pass out parade. It's not true. They need to remain on top of all their standards. You are letting yourselves down through basic drill. Before they get the chance to throw their hats in the air, they have two hurdles to overcome their final fitness exam and a formal inspection by the commander of all training. It can be a very stressful week for them. When I say step short, I don't all of a sudden put imaginary dead dogs in front of you and expect you to step over them. Everybody's really scared. You have to be switched on the whole time. You're so close to the end, but it could still all go wrong. I don't want to be the one that messes it up. Everyone needs to do their part, don't you all? Press up, down. I certainly don't want to lose anybody in week 10, but it doesn't work like that. Some people just are destined to fail here. Why any of you are talking whilst you're marching is an absolute mystery to me. Petty Officer Head has led his class through a turbulent 10 weeks and is trying to maintain the Navy's high standards to the end. What I need now is every single one to come together as a team. They have to be perfect before they pass out. All right, Bauer, do you want to do some push-ups? No, not really. I'm just going to wait here and find what I can pick people up for. Yeah. You there, a thousand push-ups, and you a million. Just, just go the auto able now. You'd be right with that able, wouldn't you? A thousand push-ups, you'd be able to nail that. At the beginning of training, one recruit is chosen by PO Head to help supervise the rest of the class. Pass it out, classes! Oh! Why is there a random clean pillowcase down there? I think it's clean. That was clean. 25 year old class leader Nick Abel is a former soldier training to be a marine engineer. It's potentially very dangerous, but that's, how exciting is that? Fixing battleships for a living, travelling around the world. You've got a graft for it, but if you want to do something good in life you're going to enjoy, you've got a graft for it. I do think a military environment is, is perfect for Nick. Was never going to be academic, was always going to be physical. I can remember when I was a little kid, I had an action man, and his arms, like that, they were like that, and they had like a little motor in his back, and you wound them back, and you put them in the bath and let it go, and he goes, and he swims. Yeah, mate, a little flip was everything. He had everyone with every different weapon and everything. He had the lot with the vehicles, the uniforms, everything. This little door has to be locked and closed at all times, otherwise, we'll all get a warning for security. He's an excellent class leader, he's an excellent recruit as well. He's the man in there at the moment. He's the one person that we'd want there. We've lost so many people, we do not want to lose Abel. Oh, God, I was going to try and leave the mess as tight as we can. Abel, oh, what a guy. He helps everyone. Your shirts are nowhere near centralised. All these patches are just loose on top, they should be in the shirt. There is pressure because to get to that standard, you've got to work as a team. You've got to have good discipline. So I don't want to cock it up. It's a wonderful day to be in the Royal Navy. Yeah, hold up. I want to choke you with this fucking sock. It doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. We've got each other. Fucking hell, man. You're a fucking nothing. If that's the case, we'll give it a shot. Oh, halfway there. Oh, living on a break. It's Tuesday of week 10. If the recruits can survive four more days, they'll pass out of HMS Rally as sailors. Yeah, hi, Sarah. It's Gaz from Cornwall Division. Um, I was just ringing up reference Abel, so I wondered if you could put me through to the ward. There's worrying news about recruit Abel. Hi, Mum. So yeah. 
Okay. Hello. Chances of him coming out this evening? Um. Last night, he was rushed to sickbay with a stomach illness. That's with fine. two final tests looming, this is bad news for the class. Okay, bye now. Speak to you soon. Bye. We have a potential issue. Abel is currently in the sickbay. Yeah. Action man Abel. I don't do ill. I never get ill. And all of a sudden, I feel horrendous. He can keep you no know, sons down. He's struggling to keep water down. He's been violently sick. To prevent me from making the rest of the class ill, I have to go on quarantine. There is something in the back of your mind that says, uh oh, because Recruit Abel is at the moment a very good, solid role model for them all. While Abel is in sick bay, the class must prepare for a final grilling by Rally's most senior training officer, Commander Joe Aidy. Smith, what and Richardson too. Every recruit must convince her that they've reached the required standard in military bearing. Hands to panic stations. She's due in five minutes time and preparations are not running smoothly. Yeah, the, the person that's doing the block can do that. But I've got time to moisturise. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I'm sweating like a fucker. Before formal rounds commence, the class should be standing by their beds and the leadership team waiting to greet the commander. Right, gentlemen. Okay, what time does round start? Okay, 1900 as we call it in the Navy. Yeah, this is week 10. I don't expect basics like timings, the fact you're not ready for me, the fact you've got recruits still running around. We will try the top floor or I will re scrub the lot of you tomorrow. It is not an automatic right that if they've got to week 10, they're going to make it to a passing out parade on Friday that there is no room for complacency or lapsed behaviour, it has to be maintained throughout, not just when they choose to. Rescrub at 19.30, so just make sure you stood out here. If they were in the block, would it have been a little bit different? Probably would have been. Try to carry on, thank you very much. Reach for sky. What are you doing, Toy Story? Yeah. I don't think he's ever said that. <laughs> he is. Oh, just, 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 just. Right, we'll start with starboard. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right. Back, Bosun. Back. What do you do when you finish reporting? Yeah, Mr. Clay, I'm on. Yep. And the drill bit of it? No, no. Before you go anywhere, Right, good evening, gents. Stand at ease. We didn't start particularly well this evening, did we, Cooper? No, ma'am, we did not. Right, come on then. What have you been doing to your duster? To my duster, it... I don't really know. I think it's just discoloured as, it's, as we've gone along. It's like being in the same room as Vader. It is terrifying. Right, Mr Penny. Evening, Mark. Good evening. Right, what have you found hardest about the course? Just living on a knife edge, pretty much. It's a bit scary. You can get kicked out any more, but I can anyway. Why? Um, messed up quite a few times. Who is in control of your destiny? Me, Mark. So if you're living on a knife edge, to me to Absolutely. 22 year old recruit Kyle Penny is on his last warning. One more slip up and he'll be thrown out. I've been caught uh, with my phone playing music. I was part of the infamous shower party incident. Yeah, I don't think I've portrayed myself as a bad recruit. I think that I've portrayed myself as quite a good recruit. Just I've been caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Right, week 10, the end's in sight. 
However, still three days of knife edge, not just for Mr. Penny. All right? You are not yet salty old sea dogs who get to relax, drop your standards because of all your vast experience. All right? Yes, Mr. Uh, Good piping, Piper. The class have scraped through the commander's rounds. Guys, she's still outside. <sighs> but tomorrow is their final hurdle, a fitness test. If their leader, Abel, is still in hospital, their chances of passing are dramatically reduced. He gives everyone confidence that they can do it and that it's not a struggle and that everyone can achieve it. If the class fail this test, they run the risk of being backclassed and not passing out at the end of the week. Abel is my most important recruit in many ways in that he holds a lot of, lots of things together being the class leader. The quicker he comes back, the better. If he comes out tomorrow morning, then he has to do his physical assessment. And if he doesn't pass that or he doesn't do it, he doesn't pass out. Ash into the air. It's week 10, and the recruits are days away from becoming sailors. Their final hurdle is the military fitness test that they must pass or fail together as a class. Right. If they fail it, they might not pass out on Friday. Fitness pass out is the big one. That's the thing I'm worried about most. One of the recruits who struggles with fitness is 28-year-old Dean Hill. Hill panics anyway. Sometimes it's quite amusing to watch, but normally like, you want to help him out because he is really panicking and you can tell how stressful it is for him. Wait for me, ladies. I just have a mind fart and it's all just gone. And I'm like, uh, a bit dribble. <laughs> but, um, no, I am ho I'm hoping that as I get further into my career that that worry will go and I'll be, really, I'll be, be overly confident as I should be. <laughs> Crit Hill, Cornwall 05, wish to speak to PO. Yeah. Um, on the side of my shoe, I have a green flake that I can't get rid of. A what? A green flake. A green flake? Yeah, it won't come off. What, that? Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't really worry about it. It's a, it's like a dot. <laughs> OK. Permission to carry on, carry on, please. Recruit Hill worries far too much, but that is mainly because he doesn't think too much of himself. I am very harsh on myself sometimes. I've always done it. My life before rally was um, pretty standard. I worked at a supermarket for 11 years. I think the people look down on you if you work at a supermarket a bit. Hello, you all right? I met Liz through work. Yeah. What have you been doing today? She was on the checkouts and I was on the deli counter at the time, serving out the meat. Boop, boop, boop. And it just kind of felt like we were supposed to be together. He had no confidence that he could do anything. He had no qualifications. He just, you know, every time I'd say to him, you know, why don't you look into doing a, a college course or something, yeah. you know? It's, ah, no, I won't be able to do that, you know, I'll fail constantly feeling like he wasn't good enough for anything other than working in a supermarket. Hey Lincoln, it's Daddy. Hello. The main reason I wanted to join the Navy is because I wanted to be able to provide for my wife and my son, give them the life they deserve. I miss you. I was hoping that this journey would sort of give him confidence. He's got a lot more skill than he realises. You gonna come see me pass out? I think this will be the chance for someone else to tell him, not just me, because obviously I'm supposed to tell him that. All right, love you. Bye. Confidence plays a big part in everything you do. If you're not confident in it, it's going to affect you massively. For the past 10 weeks, class leader Abel has helped his fellow recruits through training. Abel, I think without him we would have struggled if he, if he wasn't our leader. But today is the final military fitness test, and Abel is absent. He's been fighting a stomach illness in sick bay for the last two days. He's been like the rock of the group. It's been pretty horrendous not having him there. 
The recruits have been ordered to make their way to the gym for the fitness test. They don't yet know if Abel is well enough to join them. Abel is past fit just minutes before the test is due to begin. I was drained, I was fucked. I didn't realise how drained I was. But the most important thing by far is all of us completing this, everyone. He arrives just in time to take part in the test with his teammates. Through. Abel again, mate. Let's go, Abel, let's go, Warren! It's fucked, isn't he? You could tell straight away that he was different to pretty much every other PT session he's been in. It seemed quite weak for him. Abel, switch on. Huss! To the top. Hey! We've got a lad there, number five. He's been in the sick bay for a few days, but... He's like the nat that natural leader that everybody needs. It's actually man able, of course he's gonna be there. He's never not gonna be there. Oh, oh, oh. Up the pressure. Having able at the back just pushing us on till I run out of energy and I can't go no more. Holy control to the ground, Peter! Okay guys, um, made it hard for yourselves, didn't you? Massively. However, you've passed it, taken the box. Well done, okay? I did it. I was like, yeah, what was I worried about? There's nothing to worry about. We all passed as a whole class. Between us, our performance was good enough to get us through. One step closer to getting in the Navy. Recruit Hill has nearly reached the end of training, but he's worried about pass out after a family disagreement. It's a massive day. Yeah. Ready for this? If my mum and my brother come, because I had a bit of a falling out. A uh, family dispute, as we call it. Me granddad passed away just before I came down. That's right. And yeah. I said I was going to go, but then I had this commitment, obviously. Uh, All right. So I let them down. You haven't let anyone down, no. young man. Well, All right. What, my, what did, you do, what did your granddad not, used to do? Uh, he was in the army. Uh, for a long time, so. Right, so the family disputes over the fact is that you didn't, you didn't take the opportunity to go to the funeral, but took your entrance date. Yeah. What do you reckon your granddad would have wanted? Uh, I kind of hope that um, he wanted me to do this Listen, over, over I'll tell the, you that, over for the nothing. Day, so. Be proud of yourself. Yeah. You know why? Because I know for a fact any military person, irrespective of how many years they've done, right, would put the services first. Yeah. Because. You're not going to alter the past, are you? No. But what you're going to do is make him proud. Yeah. Because of the fact is you've carried the mantle forward, like, you know? Do you want do your you mum there? That? Yeah, of course I want my mum there. Well, let's sort it out. Yes, right, that's what you need to do. Hill hasn't spoken with his mum since he came to rally ten weeks ago. He and his two siblings had a difficult upbringing. My biological mum, um, she passed away when we were three. My biological father, I don't think he could care for us by himself. Literally just had my seventh birthday that the uh, adoption order finally went through, May 13th, 1994. Never, never, never ever forget that date. Um, we all went for a spag bar after we'd been to the court, down this little restaurant, and I had a white shirt on, naturally, it went everywhere. But um, that, was a, that, was, um, that was a good day after all the stuff we'd been through previously. I probably could have been in care till I was 18. I don't know how I could have turned out, but luckily my adopted mum um, did a really great thing. Took all three of us together in one hit. Hello, hello mum. I know it was hard for because I know specifically that I was a shit bag when I was younger. Um, I had a lot of anger issues. I'm sorry mum. I've helped not coming to granddad's funeral. I feel like I was disappointing you by not going. I told her that I made a mistake and that I hope she's not disappointing me. 
I was going to ask if you wanted to come to my pass out. She's a massive part of my life. Yeah. She's done so much for me. It's in Plymouth, Mum. I hope she's going to come. It would make me really proud. All right, Mum, I'll, I'll contact you again. All right, Mum, love you. OK, bye. Hill's mum will see if she can arrange her trip in time for pass out. I've waited a long time for this. I want her to feel proud. <laughs> it's the recruits last night at rally. You're at the end. Let's be honest. The only way you're not going to pass out here is if you fuck up this evening. <laughs> that is the only way. You are so close to the end now. You have done well. So now you can see how much you have changed in the last 10 weeks. And trust me, you have changed. When you see your family, they'll say, fuck me, you're different. You're different. The way you stand like that, the way you look at me in the eye, all that stuff, it has changed. Right, overall, I want to thank you one last time. Thank you, you have made my life easy and miserable at the same time. Come on, you piece of shit. Hello, you all right? Rally's rules are never relaxed and phone use in the mess decks is strictly prohibited. But one of the recruits decides to chance it by taking a call in the far corner of the mess. Duty staff are constantly on the lookout for anyone breaking the rules. Does someone have a phone? Penny. <laughs> Come see us in a minute. What's that? I even warned everyone. <laughs> Recruit Penny has already accrued a number of discipline warnings during training. I said the PO's on mobile phone hunt to everyone. Send it down to uh, division. It's not a smart move to be on your phone. It's just an immediate sense of just, oh, shit. Where's Penny? Why the fuck on week 10 you playing on your mobile phone in the mess deck? And then to top it all, when the PO comes in, you don't go, you go off the phone. You just walk past him, still on your mobile phone. Well, long time to long. It doesn't matter. You can phone out there, can't you? You can phone downstairs. Why the fuck are you doing it in the mess deck? Because you rang me in here, didn't you? So put it on hold and you walk out there, don't you? Yes, For fuck's sake. You're on shit discipline anyway, aren't you? Yes, we know. Okay, so now OCIT is going to get involved tomorrow morning. Winner. Well done, Mr. Penny. You've got an immediate sense of dread. This is the first thing that I've actually been able to like stick out and I've really enjoyed and that you've completely let yourself down and everyone down. Penny could get kicked out tomorrow. The last night as well. Penny's gonna be shitting himself, put it that way. It's 7 a.m. on the last day of training. In a few hours' time, the Cornwall recruits will pass out of HMS Rally in front of their loved ones. <laughs> Recruit Hill is hoping his mum is going to come to the ceremony after he invited her at the last minute. If she can come down and see me pass out, it's going to be the best feeling in the world. Amazing, in fact. I'm probably going to cry. I've, um, my first aim is uh, obviously get that cap thrown in the air. So just have a quick cuddle with the, with the guys and then go see my wife and son. Then hopefully go see my mum. Fucking nervous, man. Um, yeah, yeah. Recruit Penny's pass out is at risk after last night's unauthorised phone call.
Report. Report. Recruit Penny, Cormelo 5, Starboard Class, reporting to CPO Head. Thank you for the admin this morning, Penny. It's much needed. My On apologies, pass out days, you, well, you can apologise all you want. You apologise to your parents. We've probably made a fucking wasted journey across the River Tamar. You complete fucking prick. If you pass out today, I'm going to be extremely fucking surprised. What in the hell were you thinking about? My mum rang me PO and it was only a five minute call and it was an emergency, kind of an emergency because they had no way of transport getting over there. That is not an emergency. You cannot affect that. No. What were you going to do? There's not much Go and get them and fucking piggy them back over the water? No, PO. No. How the fuck does that fall into emergency category? Don't know, PO. The slightest piece of mitigation that me and mum could go into bat for you with is that if somebody had fucking died or something like that. Not that your mum can't get a fucking bus. You can look with them puppy dog eyes all you like. The fact of the matter is, the choice is equal consequences, Penny. You've chosen to belay my direct orders again. You've mugged me off. You've mugged mum off, you've mugged yourself off, and all your family ought to feel mugged off as well. You got anything to add, Mum? We will let you know how things develop through the morning. Go away and get yourself organised. Permission to carry on, Mum? Go. It's not the sort of news that you want to get the day your class is passing out. The way in which I dressed him down, I think, was appropriate to the, the frustration that I felt. As Penny is already on a final warning for discipline, the staff have no choice but to put him in front of the commander for a possible dismissal. Probably go, man. That's what did the PA actually say? He said he'd be surprised if I pass out today. And that uh, I've mugged everybody off, basically. So. By 9.30, the recruits' families begin to arrive at HMS Rally. They're all out there. After ten weeks apart, a glimpse of their loved ones is almost too much to bear. Yes, sister, she's, <laughs> she's there, she's there. No one should be looking at other people's sisters, it's fucking wrong. It's wrong, but it's so right. It's my other wank. <laughs> With just two hours to go before pass out, Chief Bouchier asked to talk to Penny before he sees the commanding officer. 30 seconds, recruit Penny. Okay, Chief. During his time at rally, Penny has received a number of warnings, two for breaking strict mobile phone rules. The rules are quite clear with mobile phone usage and, and there's a reason why the rules are so stringent. Come with me. At sea, if you use your mobile phone, it could reveal the location of a ship or a submarine. Sit down. Recruit Penny, we do yes. not want this to go tits up, do we? No, Chief. You've got an accumulation of warnings. I don't know what I can say to that, Chief. I've been thinking about that one on warning. Despite the accumulation of warnings, I do believe that I have a good sense of discipline within myself. Penny, he hasn't been all bad. He's, he's had moments where you think, yeah, I, I, I can see it. When you see the potential in someone like that, he's worth one more shot. He knows where and when he shouldn't do things. And if a week 10 doesn't, fuck me, we're fucking, we've lost it. We should just walk away now. If he can't 
maintain a steady helm for, for 10 weeks. He can only do it for nine weeks and four days. I think that speaks volumes of a person. He thought, I'll fucking chance it, because I ain't going to get caught. My mum can't get a lift to the pass out. And that is not a fucking emergency. It's an emergency to him, though, isn't it? No. There's a thing called a bus, just in. His mum could fucking get one. She's from Plymouth. He's it's not, not an emergency to us because it's not a big deal to us, but to him, it's a big deal, isn't it? Well, I think this is harsh. It's a really, really tough pill to swallow because this is happening on the final day of naval training. He should be passing out in a few hours' time, and now he's going to a table to uh, find out whether he's still got a future in the Navy or not. Bouchier will go with Penny to the commander's table. Cook Penny, come with me. It's not looking good, is it, Chief? I'm going to try my best for you. Thank you, Chief. Commander Chief's defaulters, ha! Recruit Penny Mall. Recruit Penny, thank you, Mom. Recruit Penny, Mom. Recruit Salute. Mom, Recruit Penny appears before you today for consideration for discharge on suitable June training for failures in discipline. Before the table gets underway, Chief Bouchier speaks up for Penny with a personal plea. And Mum, if I can read my own uh, view of Recruit Penny. Penny has been waiting to join for 18 months, and this has been a boyhood dream. He's rightly gutted that he might have blown this in the 11th hour. Should Penny be retained, I believe he'll be a valuable addition to the fleet in time. I spoke up because my feeling is when you look at the big picture and you look at the Navy's investment in this guy, he has got to week 10. He has all but completed naval training. Every intention of immediately ending the call, but in a state of confusion... And also, you kind of think, this is someone's son. Penny has been a steady recruit. Some of these kids are six years older than my son, and my son's just a little boy to me, still. Going into the final weeks, Recruit Penny has again failed... To so, if I sent my son or daughter to here, I would want someone like me looking out for him. Penny is an intelligent man, and I personally believe he's learned his lessons from the past mistakes. Thank you, Chief. Recruit Penny, what do you have to say about the incident last night? Um, I was in the mass deck, stowing away some kit, and the phone rang. I immediately answered it because... But it's my mother, and she was very panicked. Um, and then, Pierre, as I answered the phone, Pierre Smith walked into the room. Your other um, warnings have also been through mobile phone usage. So it's not that this is a one-off incident in terms of using your phone. So why should I keep you in the Royal Navy? Recruit Penny, what did you tell me on Tuesday evening at rounds when I asked you what the worst bit of training had been? Living on a knife edge, Mum. And what did I say to you about who owns and has responsibility for that knife edge? Me, Mum. Penny, I do believe that there is a sailor inside you. What I don't yet believe is that you understand that it is not just you switch on when you want to. Yes, ma'am. The Navy has a place for you, Penny. I want you to be a marine engineer. 
but you are not going to pass out today. No, ma'am. I am going to discharge you, deemed unsuitable during training, with a minimum period of 12 months before you can return. Yes, ma'am. Recruit, salute. Right turn. Right wheel. Quick march. What the fuck am I gonna do? Thank you. Silly mistakes, Penny. Yes, ma'am. Come back fighting, all right? Yes, ma'am. There is a career for you, all right? You have to believe in yourself yes, that you can do it, because I know you can. All right? Yes, ma'am. We'll see you in a year. All yes, right? ma'am. Nothing's stopping you getting into the careers office on Monday morning. Am I allowed to fly on Monday, ma'am? Yes. Come back fighting. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Well, thank you. He's obviously completely devastated. His mum and dad are actually in rally now. And he has to explain to them what he's done. I'm fucking gutted, to be honest. It's... I completely understand why it happened. Um, I just wish he got one more chance. No. Right, boys, go around. Penny's been chopped. Um, choices equals consequences, and he's tried to bend those rules that everybody knows, and he's been caught out. All right, so don't let it affect your day, please. All right, it's your special day. Don't let so this knock it. You got from the navy, huh? You got him from the navy. Oh yeah. He's gone, is he? Fucking hell. On pass out day. Wow. Right. Nervous we. Discharge. P.O. just told you it was about a penny. What? Discharge. Fucking Jesus, man, really? Yep. That is fucking soul destroyed. Going through all this again. It's fucking good to go. Before pass out begins, even the parade ground must meet naval standards. The recruits finally get to wear the iconic sailor suit for the very first time. Is that middle crease in line with the back, my back? We've definitely become a real family. And I'm gonna miss them all. I might not see these people again. And it's kind of gutting that. Where the fuck are you going? This is the weirdest way I've seen this done. Why don't you just do it a normal way? It would have helped you. Quite cheesy, but it feels really good. Who needs? But then, in the same respect, it, you also feel a bit, a bit sad because you lost so many good people. told you're going home and you're not going to make it. I was devastated. There's nothing really worse than that. I understand that for those recruits I discharge, that often is the end of a dream of years. They'll tell me that this is the only thing they've ever wanted to do. And yet, do you know what? It wasn't enough to therefore stick to the rules or, or to, to achieve the standard. They need to go away and mature. They need to accept the standards that we expect of them and be able to meet those standards. But everybody gets a second chance. 
Next time, don't, just don't even be tempted. I know next time that I go back in, I'm gonna be taking a pen and paper. I'm not even taking my phone. The recruits families have been asked to take their seats for the ceremony. Hill's wife Liz is here with their baby. Are we gonna see daddy? Oh my goodness. And also watching on is his mum, Cheryl. This means the world to Dean to get in the Navy. I've always encouraged him. Believe in yourself. You know, you, you can do it. Fired mum. You've done extremely well. All right. This is going to be the proudest moment of a lot of your lives. Certainly your naval careers. So enjoy every moment of it. Okay? Yes, right, let's go out and fucking eat them because we're lions, aren't we? Yes, we are. That few seconds before you step out and all the families are waiting, all the lads are dropping it out of their bums and for one minute you think, we're about to go out and everybody's sat out there waiting for us. Everyone's watching you and you have to try and not get this wrong. I'm crapping, <laughs> crapping myself. The thing I'm worried about is being the one that messes it up. I hope that they get out of their careers whatever they want to get out of their careers. There's some people that could be high-ranking officers one day. Captain's prize and medal. Recruit, Abel. Will Abel conduct the next 36 years in the armed forces, hopefully? I've just really, really enjoyed the whole 10 weeks. Could recruit Hill be a vice admiral, why not? I feel quite confident now. When I was at the supermarket five years ago, um, I couldn't really see myself here. But to come from that to being a sailor really spurred me on. The potential is there for all of these people to do whatever it is that they want to do. You never know, we might have a future first sea lord in this group. Passing out classes! For the final time, this is yeah. Big chubby. Hey, little man. That's my mum. That's my mum. Well done. Yeah. Yeah.